Today I'm going to be sharing with you four different ways that you can decorate your pumpkins this Halloween and fall season without carving them. All these amazing pumpkins came from Tagawa Garden Center, so head over today. They're just off Broncos Parkway and Parker Road there in Parker, Colorado. They're family owned and have been for decades and have an amazing pumpkin selection. So let's go ahead and get started with our first pumpkin decoration. To best prepare for this craft, we took our regular crayons and then we went ahead and cut them. We sliced them down the middle, kind of hot dog style, and then naturally they crumbled apart, which was totally okay. We like the fact that they're a little bit smaller, which makes it easier to melt. So the first thing that we're going to do is put a little bit of glue in the ridges of the pumpkin and you can see I've already done that and then I've already started to stick a few of my crayons in there. So here's kind of our phase one once we're done with one of the rainbows and we're just going to go back and fill in those empty spots at the top with some of the smaller pieces of crayon. And here is kind of the next phase of our crayon. There's a bit more crayons. It's a bit more full, a little bit more of a rainbow, and now it is time to get them all melted. I recommend putting it on the hottest setting, but not the highest setting. And now as you see, the crayons have started to melt just quite a bit, and we're gonna go ahead and add more of the crayon pieces to these melted crayons to really Okay, so now we put the extra pieces of the crayons in there so the pumpkin is very full. We can't see white on the inside of the pumpkin. And let's go ahead and melt these guys down. And and there you have it, your crayon pumpkin. Our mummy pumpkin is super easy to make and it's multifunctional, meaning you can decorate it now for Halloween and then you can undress it and use it for more fall, autumn, or Thanksgiving decor. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our eyes on the pumpkin. So you wanna decide what side the face of the pumpkin will be on. Ours will be on this side. So we're just gonna take a little bit of our painter's tape and we're gonna make some hoops or loops with them. So we'll take the piece of tape, we'll fold it back on each other so that we have a little bit of a loop and then we'll put that right on the eyeball itself and then we'll stick that to the pumpkin. Okay, so we have both of the eyeballs on there and you can see this is a pretty good sized pumpkin. So the three inch ones really work well. You could also make some cool monster pumpkins or bug pumpkins with these googly eyes too. And then you're gonna go ahead and take your gauze. We are going to again take some of that painter's tape and then we're going to wrap a piece of it on the gaw itself, just like so, and we're gonna wrap it on the back side of the pumpkin. That way you won't see the painter's tape and it'll look really good for the decoration. Voila, you have your mummy pumpkin. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a bit of the Mod Podge onto the pumpkin and we're just going to do a nice little thin layer here and start in one section and then once we've applied that glue pretty evenly across in that section we're going to go through and add a few pieces of the tissue paper. So once you've done one section you can go ahead and go to the next section and same thing here kind of whatever sticks goes for the design that we're doing. What I would recommend is either covering the entire pumpkin with the spray paint or just doing a sign across the front so that you can go ahead and fill it in with chalk once it's dry. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to do the chalkboard paint. Sometimes it is helpful if you have multiple layers and you do wait a little bit between each layer for it to dry completely for the best effect. So we're gonna head outside and start spray painting our pumpkin. So 
So as you see and as you saw, we went ahead and created a message board with the chalkboard paint. And now we're going to go ahead and create our chalk message. Your Halloween chalkboard pumpkin. And there you have it for no carve pumpkin decorating ideas for the fall.